Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do everything DIY and today we have a follow-up service call for a Johnson Controls rooftop unit. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumper Man Tech. Let's get our tools up to the roof using a rope. Alright, alright, check out that view in the back see everything we're in Brooklyn right now you can see all of Manhattan okay so in our previous visit we had an issue with the condenser fan motor you can see inside that we have one in there but I taped up the wiring because we couldn't let it run and you're gonna see why once we pull this off so we're gonna take off these 516 screws around here we're gonna pull this out let's do it a nice view right there. Okay. As simple as it gets. Just gonna pull that right off. Here we are. Okay. So this is a new fan motor in here, but we never ran it. These are the wires, and I'll show you why. See that? Got a crack in here. So, Daniel, yeah. let's start this over. Right here, we have a nut and bolt. And that's what's holding this motor in place. So you would have to disconnect the wiring, but right now, we're gonna take off that nut and bolt. And then, also that green wire there, that's the ground and screw. So, we're gonna loosen that up. We're gonna pull this motor out. We haven't ran the motor yet. Fortunately, we caught that uh, crack a little late, but if you, you'll see, look right here, there's a damage in the fan blade right here. And around the edges, you look around, there's markings. So this blade was and ended up scratching up. We found the issue with the motor so we came to replace it, but by the time we came to replace it, this bracket literally snapped. And then we noticed these scratch marks, so this blade, I don't trust it anymore. So today, what we're gonna do is replace the brackets and our fan blade, and we should be okay. We got a brand new fan blade here. This is directly from the manufacturer. This is Johnson Controls part. And then we got the fan blade brackets. I know only one of them was broken, but um, I picked up brand new ones, all four, because we might've lost some integrity there. And we'll see if we're gonna use this. I brought it just in case. This is the belly band that goes around the motor. So we got everything brand new, original parts from the manufacturer. Okay, everything original. We even have a crack in the blade here as well, as well as this. I'll show you guys some pictures so you can see it up close. This, we kind of just threw, threw it back in place. Um, but for now, you can loosen up this set screw right here. We could slide it right out and be real easy. So we have a little more space to do what we gotta do. There we go. I'm gonna see if I have a video on my cell phone, but we used a hub puller to take it off the original motor because it was extremely difficult to get in there. Now we have this space out. We're good. What we're gonna do is take off this ground screw here. It's like one five sixteens. Pull that out. And uh, I guess the tie wraps here. So tie wraps, cable ties, whatever you wanna call them. Take off this grounding screw and we can loosen up this nut and bolt here and this motor is going to slide right out.
Look closely here, guys. Do you see those stains? That's an oil stain. One circuit here is completely disconnected. One circuit here is completely disconnected because obviously there's a leak there. So it looks like all the vibration from all of this shaking around is eventually broke off. Cr must have created a leak in here. So we want to correct the problem first. So we want to make sure everything is balanced here and good before that coil is replaced. We put in a proposal for that. So let's see if we win that bid. And that's going to be the next repair on this unit. Yep, keep your hand there so you don't drop that screw. And you got it. That ground wire is now safe. You can let that be. Now we can loosen up the nut and bolt over there. favorite setup but we got a long extension over here for to hold down the nut on the bottom i'm gonna take it out on top with that you know what i might even have something for that these wrenches are awesome here Let's see if any of these fit in there right there there you go Framing cracked a little bit. You see that? Mm -hmm. It is what it is. A bit of that crap. It is what it is. All right, just careful with the bottom. We're gonna do the same for all four. Also, cut the snips here. Cut the cable ties with the snips here. Pull off this whole bracket. Let's rebuild this whole thing. It is the same one. We got it all out. We're gonna rebuild everything brand new right now. Okay, so here's an idea of how this is gonna go. These edges with the holes go up top, and the belly band goes around here. And there's already holes for that piece. Honestly, this thing ain't bad, and it's already bent the same way we want. The only thing we're gonna have to reuse is the nuts and bolts. Right, we're just gonna rebuild this the same way that we got it. Here's what that looks like. Now let's bend it together so it can close. Just try to bend that up. Yeah, there we go, there we go. And then this nut and bolt will go through here. There we go. There we have it. All right, now if we just put this thing in place, hopefully it fits now <laughs> with it being like that. And we're just gonna put the nuts and bolts through this and tighten it up up top. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, okay. That fits. Man, that looks nice. All right. Just gonna line up the holes. You know what? Let's do that one last. Let's put this one. Yeah, put that one in. So we're just gonna line that up. Drop that in. Just put it in by hand for now, just so it holds in place. The other one. Covers kind of damaged. I'm gonna maybe maybe I could put some metal there or something. See this? It's kind of cracked. I mean, it'll still hold, but I wonder if we can put a bigger washer or something there. Fortunately, I don't have anything for that. It would be nice to put some metal on top and above, but the best I could do for them is give them a nice new washer in that corner. Funny enough, this was the only side. That had this piece. 
just like a known breaking point for these units that they, they had to do that. Whatever. Let's put it together, man. Let's do it. Alright. Pretty much gonna tighten down the nuts and bolts on all four pieces right now. Let's get that in. This thing is real tight. Okay. Now it's in. Have this position properly. Hold this right here. Let's put this nut and bolt right back. It's real tight. All right. All right, it's looking good. We're gonna ground this back onto the motor framing. We're gonna put all the wires back with the rubber pieces to protect from anything scratching up. From vibration and let's set this up and the last thing is I guess to put on the blade and test it while we got the power off for this unit this is actually for an elevator mechanical room we got the heat coming out here it's pretty chilly outside so we should be good so we're setting this all up I want to do good so far we're gonna sand down the shaft a bit so we get that fan blade on nice and smooth it's been exposed to the outdoor weather for a little bit this is going to be the top of our fan blade this is a locking screw here we're going to lock that on the flat part of the shaft you see this part is rounded come around and it's flat it's actually flat on two sides here so we're going to slide the fan blade on take that and slide that on and then we're going to line up the locking screw with the flat part of the shaft Tighten it down. We're adjusting the height similar to the other side. All right, everything's plugged in, wired. Everything is back nice and safe. Let's go, nothing's hitting. Just turn the power back on because we want to test this thing. This compressor is disconnected because of that leak. And I see a fault. Red light going on. I see startup. It's counting now. 102, 101. All right. Well, clearly there's some other issues here, but it is what it is. It's hard to tell, but it. It's moving so fast, it looks so much slower in the video, but yeah, nice and smooth, nice and smooth. Little inside look at a control panel here. Got one of the compressors running. C1 right now is plunged in. Just gonna close this cover up. It's looking good. I'm gonna wrap this video up here. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. Look how we got up here. It's real shady. And I'll catch you all next time.